Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and today I'm excited to say that we are finally going to be getting some more information about Rainbow Six Siege's upcoming DLC in the next couple of days. What I'm really hoping for though is that with this announcement, they're also going to let us know about adding in a new game mode. Of course, I'm really excited about the new map and the two new operators. I'm hoping that the new map is going to be similar to the house map. It's easily one of my favorite maps in the game. I think this is true for a lot of people out there, and so I'm really crossing my fingers that that's the case. But what I really want is a new game mode. If you're not aware, in their one year DLC plan, Ubisoft has outlined that they're going to be adding in eight new operators along the entire year, four new maps, but they've also specified at the very bottom that they're also going to be adding in game modes, as in plural. What we don't know, though, is what the hell they're going to entail, what they're going to be, uh, but also when they're going to be released. I'm really hoping that this second DLC is going to be when we get one. The reason why I'm harping on this issue and crossing my fingers that this is going to be the case is that I truly do believe that if it's done correctly and it's not just a gimmick and it's a fun new game mode, that it will breathe a breath of fresh air into all of the existing maps. Not just the new one. The new one, of course, will be fun to learn. We'll have to learn all of the tricks, all the different angles angles on how to approach the objective, but adding in a new game mode for all of the other ones is going to mix up that combat. Now the real question comes into play, what type of game mode will we actually be getting? If you look at all the other ones, they're pretty similar to each other. They have the same concept, they're slightly different so that they do feel unique, but at its core it is that offense and defense one life and that's all that you get. And so how do you add in something that's similar to those but different enough that it mixes up the gameplay where it does feel like its own unique entity? We can't just look at other first person shooters. We can't add in team deathmatch or I mean I guess we could. I don't think I would want I would want that because it just doesn't fit the theme of Rainbow Six Siege. You can't add in domination. We already have something similar to capture the flag. And so how do we add in a new game mode? And so the idea that I came up with, and this is just this is just spitballing here. This is just conceptually because I thought it'd be fun to talk about is that we could add in a mix of hostage and bomb defusal. The idea is that instead of having just two bombs, you would have three data centers. The the goal of the offensive team is to get to one of these data centers, plant a chip inside of it, and then wait the 30 seconds for the, the files to download or something to that nature. After the 30 seconds are done, then you need to escort, you need to take those files outside of the arena, outside of the building, so that they're secure and then you win the round. And so it kind of mixes the diffuse alongside with hostage. The reason why I like this idea is that it has the potential halfway through the round to change the dynamic between offense and defense. Because there are three objectives that you have to watch out for on the defending team, Team, you're gonna have to spread your resources quite thin compared to something like secure the area You can't just hunker down on one of them and be good to go This will result in the offensive team being way more likely to actually plant the objective and get that ball rolling Now all of a sudden the attacking team is defending and the defenders are now going to be on the offensive This is something that I always liked about uh, bomb or defusal I always like that dynamic shift and to have a game mode that centers around that a little bit more would be really really cool now the reason why I say they then need to escort the data much like they do on hostage outside of the building is that if it was just that first part it would be too easy for the attacking team adding in this extra risk this extra elements where they need to leave themselves exposed to grab the data and then run away seems like that would be a way at balancing it out now the problems with this game mode is that on some maps it might be too heavily in favor of the attacking team. Even though you need to then escort the bomb outside or this data, uh, you still run the risk on some maps where they're very small, like House, for example, where there's only so many places this data center can be can be positioned, and if the offensive team knows what they're doing, they're just going to grab it really quickly, run out the window, and that's not going to give a lot of time for the defenders to really get a nice angle on it and take them out when they do make that risk to grab the data. That is one potential weakness or drawback of this game mode. Regardless though, if they did it correctly, I still feel like it could be a lot of fun because of that dynamic shift between offense and defense. Uh, the one thing I don't want to see though, and I'm a little worried about, is that their talk about a new game mode in this one year plan was only referring to this hardcore mode they've talked about a long time ago. If you guys don't remember, when they originally made the changes to rank to make it more similar to casual, a lot of people were upset by that and they said that they were going to be looking into a hardcore mode. It was going to make it more 
realistic, it was going to turn off a lot of the UI elements, and while I know that there are some people out there that like the idea of that, in my opinion, if you want that type of playstyle, you can always just kind of do that yourself. You can go into the settings and turn off all your UI, uh, but also, that kind of further splits up the community. We already have a problem right now uh, where it takes a long time to get in into games, especially if you're going to be playing ranked. Casual, it's not too bad. You only have to wait a couple of seconds, uh, but ranked especially, you run into this problem. We add in another matchmaking preference, hardcore, casual, and ranked, uh, we run into the problem where either it, everything just takes longer or the new one just dies and withers away because there just simply isn't a large enough player base to sustain it. And so while I do know that there are some people out there that like the idea of that, I'm kind of crossing my fingers that in this one year plan, it isn't a reference to that specifically. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about all of this. Are you on my side? Do you think my idea is terrible? Is there some other idea that you want to see added into the game? Do you think it should just stay the three that we have right now? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is about it for today's video. And so until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.